Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Poker Rogue video. We're back. We are recording a second video of me playing this game. And I will say, uh, rece reception's been pretty good so far. I'm pretty excited to see that uh, some people are watching the Poker Rogue video, which is pretty cool. And I'm happy to see that. Now, uh, I obviously am expecting less people to watch Poker Rogue than I am expecting people to watch, uh, you know my slice nice videos right now but i i appreciate that people are willing to give it a try to see what it's like uh the video has a decent number of likes on it too so that's pretty cool as well thank you for doing that and uh yeah uh, we're gonna keep we're uh, we're at least playing one run through here hopefully and we will see again how reception is if you want me to keep making the videos keep watching if you don't want me to make the videos and you want me to focus on slice and dice or something else instead then you should not watch the videos, right? And that's that's a great way to indicate to me if you like them or not, besides just like, hey, you can also leave a comment saying you like them or you dislike the videos. That's, that's, that's also perfectly valid too. Anyway, I don't know why I'm rambling here. Let's get in here. Let's play the game again. We, when we last left off, we were uh, on wave 51. This is our team right now. Um, fun, but by the way, fun, fun little thing, by the way. I don't know exactly how I'm formatting these thumbnails yet. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly for this. I think the plan is to take a little bit of a, a screenshot of, like, the roster here at the start of every run and then take that and then uh, use it for the thumbnail. So just give me one second while I take a screenshot. Okay, we're all good. Uh, just have to not hit the screenshot button again throughout the run. Okay. Um, but, yeah. Uh, the, that's the plan uh, for the thumbnails is just to have a snapshot of the, at, of the team at the beginning of the episode and it'll be kind of cool to see as the thumbnails progress the team will evolve and get better yada yada so on and so forth anyway let's play let's hop in here um, let me familiarize myself with the team a little bit too I, I have been playing a lot of poker in between the last recording and this one just doing some you know grinding yada yada what have you uh, did get some pretty cool Pokemon actually recently I just got a, I just got a, a, a Groudon egg hatch which is pretty cool uh and uh yeah i don't know anyway let, let's 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 not have salazzle fight the slow poke that seems like quite the mismatch here why not pikachu come in i don't think we've used the pikachu that we have too much here but um i like him now quick quick thing we want to talk about here too is our team let's just do a, a quick team evaluation right now characters that i, that I love on this team Salazzle and Golit. Definite keepers. Love them both. Probably making the final cut of our team pretty much no matter what. Uh, it would be hard, uh, tough to replace them, basically. It would be really weird and hard to replace them. Now, Pokemon that I don't like very much on this team right now, probably Barrel and Golosopod. Now, Barrel has some pretty cool stuff going for it, and it's shiny, so I'm definitely more inclined to keep Barrel here over Golosopod. But just a quick rundown here of why Barrel is so, it's not so good, but it's pretty decent here. It has the simple ability, which means stat changes are doubled. And eventually, not right now, but eventually we will learn Swords Dance as a move. So we will be able to get a, a, a 4x attack boost. Or 3x, sorry, 3x and 4 stage increase. But a 3x attack boost off of a single setup move with <laughs> extreme speed. And then also in theory Aqua Jet in our move pool as well. Uh, but, but Barrel will be good. Will be actually a pretty solid Pokemon, honestly, for the end game. Um... One sword stance into extreme speed, devastating for most enemy teams. So, that's great. Now, what does Golosopod have going for it? Now, Emergency Exit, honestly, kind of a bad ability. Especially on a slow Pokemon like Golosopod. What this ends up often hap what causing is, Golosopod will come in, uh, will take a hit, and then will be forced to switch out before he even uses his move, because it's a pretty slow Pokemon overall. Now, it does have access to both Aqua Jet and First Impression. Pretty good priority moves, and it doesn't have terrible base stats, but it's not, like, crazy good base stats either, so... Golosopod, very much on the chopping block. Probably the first Pokemon that we will chop, given the chance. I don't remember why I caught this, honestly. But it's here. It doesn't hurt us to have it here for now. And then the sort of middle-of-the-road Pokemon are Pikachu and Vespa Queen. Uh, I don't know. Also, Vespa... Have you always been Vespa Quen? I thought it was a full-on Vespa Queen here. Was it always 1E? Anyway, uh, Vespa Queen is fine. I am still a little uh, salty about me forgetting to put King Shield on. But honestly, I don't even like King Shield that much on this Pokemon. I think this actually moveset here is pretty close to optimal for Vespa Queen. We're lacking Bug Stab, but Bug Stab isn't that important. Uh, Air Slash is fine. Power Gem is fine. Spore is obviously insanely strong. But a lot of times in the end game, you'll have Pokemon that have like four Lumberries on them. 
So it's not super practical to put everyone to sleep. But it's still pretty good. And then we have the Pikachu. This is the weirdest Pokemon on our team here for sure. It has uh, access to Draining Kiss, which is pretty cool. Nasty Plot. And then we have Discharge as well. We have Golit here to combo with Pikachu Discharge for double battles, which is pretty cool. But we're, we honestly probably should just take Thunderbolt if we get the chance. And ideally, I don't think we can learn one, but ideally we get an Ice move on this Pikachu. Maybe, I mean, if possible, Ice Beam. I'm pretty sure that's not a TM move. I, I don't know what we, what we would get, if any. Maybe we would get, maybe we would get, uh, what's it called? Uh, Terra Blast and we get, we get Terra Ice on Pikachu. That would be not terrible, but this is honestly pretty fine in and of itself here. Uh, we'll just look for a better coverage move than Iron Tail. But uh, yeah, that's the team so far. Let's, let's, after all of that said, let's actually play the game now. I am willing to set up a Nasty Plot here. We can take the Water Gun. Honestly, we can probably just actually do double Nasty Plot into Draining Kiss. Uh-oh. Well, now I'm worried about getting the one shot here. Let's, let's, let's kiss first. Okay, well... Eventually, we'll kill his ass. But the math didn't work out quite right here, so we're not getting a full heal off of this, but eh, oh, now now we get the crit. Thank you, game. Very cool. Appreciate it. I'll take a PP up here. By the way, PP up. Haha. Uh, who, how are we doing on, on moves? Draining Kiss, not super important to, to increase. Roost is fine. Not super important either. Extreme Speed, pretty important actually in Barrel. Drain Punch, also pretty important on Golo. We might go Drain Punch first, honestly. Fiery Dance, but we have Heat Wave as well. And we're not, again, Glossopod. Oh, it has, it even has First Impression here, too. Glossopod, not super important for us. I'm going to go, I'm going to go Drain Punch first here, I think. Debatable either way on what we should upgrade first, for sure. Okay, I'm getting a Fury Swiped. Honestly, just Discharge here. Let's get the KO. And I will take a lure. I would love to get into some double battles here in theory. Masquerade is a little scary sometimes. I'm just going to go for the kill here. I don't want to try to, to cheese them out with draining kisses. A Pikachu wants to learn light screen. You know what? I'll take light screen over iron tail, honestly. That's a, that's a nice little bit of utility here for us. Generally, light screen tends to be more important than reflect because light screen... Or let me put it this way. Um, Mega Rayquaza, which is the hardest Pokemon in the rival fight, uh, has a mixed attack pool because it has, I think, usually Dragon Energy, which is a special attacking move. And then the rest of its moves are usually physical attacks. It has, like, Dragon Dragon's Descent or Ascent. I forget what the move is actually now. Um, it has the, the Flying move. It's physical. It has V-Crate, which is physical. It has Outrage sometimes. It can have Hurricane, too, which is special as well. But it's a mi the point is it's a mixed attacker. Eternatus is always a special attacker. So... Overall, light screen is more important for the for the uh, than reflect is in my opinion. Uh, we'll get rid of slash for pin missile here and pin missile not super exciting for us here, but whatever. And uh, yeah, we'll just put a potion on Pikachu. That's fine. Pikachu is set up to sweep here pretty hard right now. Has the uh, the plus four special attack boost, which is nice. Ooh, Vespaline is learning attack order now. However, like I said before, Bug Stab, not not super important. Oh, I didn't know that attack order had a higher crit chance. That's interesting. That is interesting. I just don't know if we want it. I mean, what are our, our, our physical and special sp attack spread is pretty even, right? Um, maybe we... I mean, we're not very fast. We're not going to get many flinches. Maybe we do just want attack order over air slash. Our speed, our speed is really slow. You know what? I'll try I'll try attack order over uh air slash. We'll see. I think we get defend order here on the same level up, maybe. We do get defend order. I don't think we want defend order though. Defensive setup moves, in my opinion, tend to be not super impactful. Um Generally speaking, for a Pokemon like Vespa Queen, I think Roost is better than Heal Order. Although oh actually Heal Order has 10 uses versus Roost 5. Actually, you know what? Give me heal order then. The the losing the flying typing is usually for a Pokemon invest between beneficial because you're usually trying to avoid your flying weakness if possible. And the only person you're you're maybe avoiding is slow rock type Pokemon. Um and and getting like you know, the resistance the resistances that flying gives you 
usually aren't super important for for ruse purposes because uh, whatever either way the fact that this has 10 uses though, i think just makes it better than roost ultimately which is interesting okay uh golet wants to learn heavy slam no i don't i don't fuck with heavy slam here Ooh, you know I'll, who who can learn dual wing beat? is it actually vespa queen it is vespa queen okay that's pretty funny uh, i'll take a i'll take a candy jar here though it's fine we have Pokerus, so I don't think we need the XP boost from Candies, but it doesn't hurt to have. Okay, Blaziken's gonna kill my ass here. What do we bring in? I'm worried about a fighting move. I think Golosopod comes in here the best. We get a Razor Shell off and check this shit out. You fucker! You fucker! God damn you! Whatever. Um, I think we just sack Lossipod here. Not much reason to keep him in. Let him, let him, let him die on this hill. And I think we bring in Golit here, and do a little shift gear boosting. Oh, we shift gear boost for sure now. Oh, that's so good for us. Fly hits pretty hard, but Drain Punch should bring us back up pretty high. Oh, but that. Oh, you know what? Shadow. Oh, Shadow Punch doesn't miss though. Never mind. Okay, um, this has not gone as well as I hoped it would. We could just shift gear here. Maybe we somehow live this. I'm pretty sure we don't, though. Yeah, okay. Unpheasant kind of kind of kicking my ass here. That's fine. Slazzle gets the special attack boost. We Dragon Pulse this Shellgun down. Goodbye, Shellgun. I think Slazzle gets the sweep from this position. Pikachu does not want to learn Thunder, I don't think. Oh, yeah, this is unfortunate. And then Blaziken comes in, dies to... I mean, we can do a Fiery Dance here, too, for the record. But, yeah. Thank you for the Sleep Salazzle. Very cool. Destiny wants to learn Destiny Bond. I don't even know if Destiny Bond is functioning. Let me see. It doesn't have the end, so it looks like it might be functioning now, but even then, I don't really want Destiny Bond. Oh, and you know, speaking of the sword dance before, but Barrel has learned it. So we'll get rid of Super Peg at this point. Simple swords dance, pretty strong on this man. Alright, we get Toxic Spikes, which is interesting, but in my opinion, not ultimately not that useful. I'll revive, I'll, I'll revive Golit here. So the nice thing is that we currently have our, our, our special attack boosts off of uh, Fiery Dance still. It's just plus one. I don't think I don't think Seeking kills us here with a water pulse. Goes for horn attack anyway, so now we can just sweep with Salazzle. Very cool. Pika Papow. What the I, I feel like I've seen this before. What does this do? The greater the most power it ever misses. You know what? I'm down to give this a try. I don't know what our current status is, but we can play Pikachu a little bit more aggressively here to get his friendship grinded up. And you know what? I'm a little greedy. I'll take an egg voucher here. You know what? Pikachu, come on in, bud. We need to, we need to grind you. Nasty plot, start sweeping. Oh, easy static. Wow, that doesn't kill. Uh-oh. Pikachu doesn't like us very much. What the fuck? He's max level. What the fuck, Pikachu? Or she's max level. Sorry. Uh, icy wind on Golit. <laughs> yeah, these are not the Pokemon you want to have icy wind on. Kind of interesting on Babarel, but not really. I'll take a Super Potion for Golit here, just to top him off. And listen, we'll take the Revive on Golosopod. We don't care about Golosopod too much, but whatever. Oh, I forgot to heal Pikachu. Oh, well. You know what? Get a little Draining Kiss action in there, maybe. Oh, Pikachu's dead. Okay. Pika Papau, maybe not the best move for us, I'm starting to uh, realize. Maybe a little bit of a mistake. Ooh, and a Golit evolution. Nice. Okay. Already a lot of a lot of big stuff happening for us in this in this first round of fights here. Very cool. Um, I will take a super potion. Never mind. I will take a normal potion here. I think. Slap that on Golurk. I will switch here. I believe. And you know what? Let's let's show off how strong this is. Okay, the Sea King is Aqua Ringing. Goodbye, Sea King. 
Big Nugget, sure, I'll take that. Ooh, Trainer Battle here. That's a little annoying, but... Octillery, we should be able to sweep here. Octillery could maybe have Focus Blast. It has Ice Beam. Okay, whatever. Speed Reduction, not gonna matter. Oh, come on, dude. You knew. You knew. The AI is cheating here. Oh, well. My Barrel wants to learn Amnesia. Amnesia is kind of interesting, honestly, because, again, the final boss is a almost exclusively special attacker. And we, we don't have speed very often, so I, I don't hate taking Headbutt here. Or get, getting rid of Headbutt, I mean. Taking Amnesia. Golurk wants to learn Phantom Force. Phantom Force is okay, but it's not amazing. Let's look at it for a second. The cool thing about Phantom Force is that it actually bypasses Protect. It's only 90 base power. The problem is that with Iron Fist, Shadow Punch is also 90 base power, and it never misses, which is kind of interesting. There's some niche scenarios where this ends up being better. I don't know how the AI in this game plays around Phantom Force 2. It might actually be pretty strong against it, so I don't love this. I think we just stick with Shadow Punch for now. Oh. Ah, fuck me. God damn it. I'm so bad navigating that menu there. A little lucky on the crit here, but even then, I think the, the, uh, the Empoleon might have been dead there. Okay, well, get rid of Pinmas. I'll take Sora's Dance. It's not very good on Golosify, but whatever. Okay. My Intimidation? No. You know what? You don't, you don't one-shot me, Gyarados. I can take this. Get back up to max attack. And there you go. There is the B barrel sweep. And now if I consult the bio map that I still have open from yesterday on my tabs, I, I, the objective is to go to swamp, to go to graveyard, to go to the abyss, to maybe go to space. That's the general cycle that I like to play. Uh, if we whiff, whatever, no big deal. But if we hit, we get. To, oh, also, we have we have the wastelands, which is a good option as well. So either way, we go to swamp here. Oh, I forgot my cursor off here. Sorry. Okay. Against Claude Sire, who do I bring in here? So the problem is that we we want to get Pikachu's friendship up more to make Pika Papau better. Um, the part of us to just switch him in and then switch him out just to get him uh, more friendship points. Uh, I'm just thinking Best Queen doesn't do very well against Claude Sire because we don't have any good attacking moves now against him. Uh, just you know, just bring, just let me go in with Golurk here. Let me get this set up. This should be quite a bit better, I think. We'll just we'll just find like a Thunderbolt TM or something or a memory mushroom. Cause I, I think Pikachu had access to Thunderbolt at some point. I don't know. Um I mean, isn't liquidation just better than Razor Shell? Is it a higher chance to get the defense drop here? I'm not sure, but get rid of Razor Shell here, take liquidation instead. Oh, speaking of memory mushroom. Pikachu, I would like for you to learn. <laughs> Yeah, let's go Thunderbolt here, honestly. Thunderbolt, probably the safest choice here. Pika Papa, maybe maybe later we'll Memory Mushroom this back once Pikachu likes us more. I don't think I'll be switching here. Ancient Power shouldn't do too much. You know, I'll go for a Drain Punch here to top off a little bit. Big Nugget, pretty cool. Stun Fist. I don't think we want to. I don't think we want a Stun Fist on our team. Sorry to say, it doesn't seem that useful here. Very redundant coverage-wise. Now, interesting thing here is that Hammer Arm does get Iron Fist boosted too. I'm pretty sure. We already have Drain Punch on this Pokemon. Drain Punch is just way better. Ooh, XP, XP all sure. But we already don't really need more XP items. But I don't know. There's another item. The other, the other items there weren't that useful, so it should be fine. So last learning flamethrower, I mean Heat Wave is just better for double battles, and then for single single battles, Fiery Dance is almost strictly better. Slightly less base power, but the upside at a 50% chance increase at special attack boosts. Yeah, I think we go, I think we go Fiery Dance here for sure. 
know something I would like? I would love in this game for there to be like a, a like a option to look at a more detailed description of moves. So you can see the exact like flinch chances, exact stat chance uh, changes, stuff like that too. That'd be nice. And maybe it exists, I just don't know about it. I would not be shocked to hear that as well. Uh, probably we're a little bit spooky here. But uh, he gets one shot, so get fucked, idiot. But Barrel wants to learn superpower. I don't love superpower on by Barrel, and the reason for that is we have simple. So the stat buff, or the stat uh, debuffs you get for using superpower are doubled. It is a pretty good fighting type move, though, but I don't think we need it. But it is something to keep in mind. Uh, you know, I'll use a super lure here. Uh... I think we can keep Vespa Queen in. We'll Tantrum here. Honestly, we'll just Spore Drapion. I don't think Vespa Queen has speeds here. Drapion's a pretty fast Pokemon. I've been bit. Help. And I think we'll just go for a little bit more setup here. And I actually don't want to hurt the Drapion because I want to I wanna set Golurk up for a bigger Drain Punch. So we'll, we'll just spam Spore for the time being. So when he does wake up, he gets put to sleep right away again. Okay, we'll go for one more, and then I think we will kill him. Oh yeah, we're at like plus four. Yeah, okay, that should, that should probably kill. And if not, we'll go for an attack order here just to really make sure. Maybe we should have gone for a heal order just to top off the Vespaline's health. Yeah, I really don't need a more experienced charms. All of our Pokemon are going to be max level pretty easily. But you know what? There is some value to maxing out your level very quickly. Because when you get to the rival fight. If you can get max level before you see the rival. It is nice. It is nice to just have all your Pokemon level 200 for that. The, the, the 195 fight. So. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to Shadow Punch here. Pretty sure Drain Punch also gets the KO there. But let's just be safe. Another PP up. You know what, seeing my barrel sweep that last uh, gym battle, I'm a little bit more interested in giving you a couple more uses of extreme speed. We'll start there. So we've, we have, now that we're in a trade battle, we have again lost our stat boost. That's just how the, the game works, unfortunately. Not a big deal. Now, I do not want you, if I can help it, Altaria paralyzing me, so let's just kill you right away. Over a little draining punch here on Apom. Now we had a a gym battle for the. Oh, I'll, I'll shift you here, by the way. We had a a gym battle for the. What is triple dive? I've never seen this before. I guess that's one trio signature move. So we had a a gym battle for the last uh tenth level uh, encounter, or whatever. You, the, I guess ten tenth increment ca encounter. So we should have a boss folk Pokemon here. This upcoming one. Um, this will keep drain punching. Top off. You, I will definitely stomping tantrum. He is sturdy. Rude. Okay. Potion. We put the potion on Vespa Queen here. It's fine. Give me a lure, though. I want to see more double battles. You know, in this fight, just to get Pikachu on the field here, put him down, and maybe he gets gunk shotted by Arbok here or, or by Drapion. But I think I think Pikachu can live a turn, hopefully. We'll see. Pikachu, can you in fact live one turn? He can do it. I knew it. Put up a light screen here. Doesn't hurt. Uh, memory Mushroom. Do I have any more Memory Mushroom things I want to hit here? We already, we already got Thunderbolt back on Pikachu. Um, I don't think so, right? Yeah, I don't think so. I'll take some Ultra Balls. Whiskash, not really the Swamp Pokemon we're looking for here, so they were going to kill his ass. Move on. So Aqua Tail hit pretty hard there. But, uh, pretty easy dub. And now we go to the graveyard.
If you if you are interested and you want a refresher on the biomes here. here hold on, let me bring this over. Bop, bop, bop. So the biomes, what we're, what we're going for here, right? Right now we're in the graveyard. The plan is to go to the abyss and then to go to either the wasteland or the space biome because they're very cool and they have some potentially rare and strong Pokemon. They each have a 33% chance of proccing. If we whiff, we just go to the cave instead. And if we go to the cave, we go lake, swamp, graveyard, abyss, and then we try again. That's the general cycle we're going for here. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, anyway. You know what? I will not switch either of these. These are, these are pretty good Pokemon to have here. We'll try to get a, a setup move off, and then we'll go for a Thunderbolt on Drifblim to hopefully get the kill here. Didn't think it would Drifblim's a pretty bulky Pokemon. It's not that shocking that Pikachu doesn't kill there. Asshole. What a piece of shit. What a fucking piece of shit. God damn you, Drifblim. I'm even, I'm even getting fucking drained, too. God damn it. Okay, well... I don't know. Let's just, let's just kill the, the Poltergeist. Lord wants to learn Earthquake. I think we'll take it. It's such a huge increase in base power over Stomping Tantrum. The problem is that it's going to make double battles a lot harder for us. No curse, by the way. We don't really want curse. Swords Dance is the way to go. No Toxic either on Salazzle. Um, revive the Pikachu, thank you. We have we have Vespa Queen to be here for double battles still, so that's fine. But it's not ideal. Yeah, we'll just we'll just ooh, aftermath, a little bit of chip damage in there. We'll just we'll just you know use potion support to heal through here. You know what I'll do too? Actually, I'll uh just do this into this here. That seems fine. Okay, we can bring a Pikachu this time. There's no way he gets exploded here. Although Shadow Punch might not kill the Gorgeist, I'm not sure. But certainly Graveyard doesn't kill, or Graveyard doesn't kill Pikachu here. Certainly not, not the case, right? Hopefully. Okay, I think Shadow Punch will maybe still hit through Phantom Force. Because it can't miss, that's the whole thing, right? It cannot miss. It can miss. Never mind. Okay. Not that big of a deal. No, honestly, you know what? I'll shift gear here into, into the Thunderbolt because that should kill the, the Graveyard. Pikachu is out speeding. So we get a little bit of extra damage here on the Golurk now. Ooh, Hyper Potion looking pretty good. We should look at Will-O-Wisp. It's a pretty decent move, but not that good on Salazzle. Salazzle's a setup sweeper for our team here. Not really much of a debuffer. Okay, we have a Psychic. Metagross. Would love this on my team, personally, but whatever. We're already faster, which is interesting. Not that crazy. We're actually way higher level, so that makes sense that we're faster. I'm gonna go for a Drain Punch here, just to get some health back. One of the few Pokemon we actually can Drain Punch. Because this damn, this damn graveyard is full of spooky ghosts. Now, Dynamic Punch, not for us. If we were a no-guard Golurk, I'd be more interested, but Iron Fist, definitely, definitely not what we want. Drain Punch, a really bad move here, so we're going to go for a Shadow Punch instead. We'll be a one-shot, not that shocking. Goodbye, Mommy. And Psychic Keenan is dead. Very cool, very cool. Um, Memory Mushroom, eh, it's fine. I'll just go for a Super Potion here instead, though. Lampin. Chandelier is fine. I'm not, I'm not a big Chandelier fan. I think in Chandelier's debut generation, it might have even been OU. But I've always felt like it was just a little too slow and a little too frail to support a super high special attacking stat. So I was, I was never a big Chandelier stand, personally. Um... And on this team, we already have Golurk for ghost coverage. We already have Salazzle for fire coverage. It just doesn't do much for us, unfortunately. Relic Gold, though. Nice little stack of cash here. I'll take that. Marowak. We'll do a little setup on Marowak here. It shouldn't be able to do much to us. Now, as long as we set up, we can get our, our health back with, uh, with Drain Punches here. 
Ooh, a crit on the second one, unfortunate. Okay. You need to be careful about the fog status effect. It could eventually cause us to miss an attack. Although, we Shadow Punch. Can't miss. Did he Shadow Sneak me there? I wasn't actually looking at the attack that it used. He went for a Shadow Sneak, which is interesting. Assurance, not really for us here, I don't think. I don't know which Pokemon we'd even want Assurance on, if any of them. I think Glurk's the one that would learn it, so, eh. Another Bandit, probably gonna Shadow Sneak me again. Never mind. Okay, we hit another Nugget. And the boss encounter here is a Bandit. We'll just punch him. Wait, weren't we supposed to get a, uh, a gym encounter here? Hold on. We were. Isn't it, isn't it rotate? Maybe it's only one every three. I might, I might be stupid, actually. Huh. Weird. Anyway. Uh, Lightbird's a little bit spooky for us. I gotta admit here. He probably just has foul play. As Night Slash. We can honestly just sweep through with, uh, with Drain Punch here. Shouldn't be too tough in the Abyss. Now, the Abyss, if you couldn't tell, has a lot of Dark-type Pokemon in it. I think Murkrow slash Honkrow could be an issue for us, in theory. Uh, Rick, you know what? Just put it on the Golurk here. I am worried about a foul play. Oh, he went for a Sucker Punch instead. Get a Fuck Dummy. Okay. Very cool. Uh, sure. Give me a lure. Why not? I don't know. Okay, apparently, this cave only has cats in it, which is kind of strange. Maybe, uh... Maybe we'll see something else eventually. Carbos. We'll put this on probably Salazzle. Salazzle's, like, the only Pokemon here that, like, really cares about speed, I would say. Golurk has Automize to speed up. Barbaro has priority moves. Pikachu cares, too. Although... We'll see if Pikachu actually makes the final cut. I'm not 100% convinced on that one. Uh, and just a uh, just funny looking life art here. Goodbye. Ooh, Sludge Wave. Interest actually interesting on Salazzle here. Because we have Fire Dance and Heat Wave. I think we actually get rid of Heat Wave here and take, and take Sludge Wave. It is a spread move as well, so we can hit multiple enemies, I believe, with this. I, and I don't think it hits allies, but I forget how this one works exactly in 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 uh, double battles. But I think I just want a good poison coverage move here. That's fine. That's cool to have. Uh, Bisharp here. Love this guy. Very cool Pokemon. Please eat shit and die. I'll see you in hell, idiot. My big problem with, with uh, Bisharp, Bisharp, however you call it, whatever you want to call it, um... In Poker Rogue is that it doesn't naturally learn Sucker Punch. It has to be either an Egg Move or a TM, I guess. Um, which is very annoying. Take some Rogue Balls here, sure. Houndoom. Wouldn't be the worst Pokemon on our team. Gives us a potential Mega Evolution we could find in theory, but not that useful. Silver Powder, huh? For the Golosopod. You know what? We'll put it on Best Between. Best Between has a Bug Move, too. That's fine. Okay. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Out of these, give me the lure, I suppose. Those all don't really matter too much. Okay, Golurk. Getting intimidated here is a little annoying. I think we'll shift. I think we'll try to Thunderbolt the Masquerade. I don't think... I mean, it's a lowland Graveler, so it won't have Stab on any ground moves. But I think it does have access to some ground moves, which is a little, little scary here. But we'll see what happens. Ah! God damn it. Why? Why does my poor Pikachu just keep dying to explosions? What the fuck? Uh, what okay, was it a bug? I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, I was too busy in agony. Uh, I'll bring in Slazzle here, I guess. That's fine. Okay, uh... Fuck me. Shadow Punch the Emolga. We'll just Fiery Dance the Bug. 
Cool. Special attack boost, please, Salazzle. Nice, there we go. Hitmonchan and Rampardos, holy shit. What the fuck? You just had a cute bug and a squirrel, now you got a dude and a, and a dinosaur, okay. Um, let's see what Sludge Wage, I, 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 I want to see what Sludge Wage actually hits here. But I'm not sure, I don't remember. Does it, it does hit Golurk too, which is important to note. A little bit of a higher priority on Steel-type Pokemon now. So we can get someone who's immune to Sludge Wave, but... Eh, whatever. Okay, battle into, into battle, cool. Pangoro's gonna beat my ass here, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, switch out, nice for us, very cool. Now the problem right now is that we didn't use any ethers on Drain Punch, so we only have four uses left. But that'll do a sizable chunk of this team, I think. So I'm pretty okay with this. Grimmsnarl, uh, we'll just go for an Earthquake here, hopefully it dies still, very cool. Pangora will go for a Drain Punch. Ooh, wow, that even kills two. Our Golurk is so sick, man. Earthquake. Very cool, okay. Easy, easy sweep by the Golurk there. Very cool, very neat. Mm. Pikachu, I believe in you, bud. You can take out this Swoobat. Oh, wait, you notice, Pikachu, it can't explode. This guy cannot literally blow up on you. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Pikachu, what a champion. Great work. Reviver Seed probably goes on Golurk here. Slaz looks pretty good here. We just go for a nasty plot into Fiery Dance, and then we'll just kill this Wubat next turn, hopefully. Okay. Interesting that the Pikachu is actually outspeeding here. We could go for a Drain because it's trying to top off here, but I'm worried about maybe it knowing Psychic or something and one-shotting the Salazzle. Unlikely, but it could happen. You never know. And if we get a back-to-back -back double battle here, I want the Salazzle to have the special attack boost from Nasty Plot. Keep you up. We've been putting that on, on Babero lately on the Extreme Speeds. I think that's still the current line for us. Okay. Pikachu finally actually winning some fights. Good job, Pikachu. Keep it up. Uh, we'll take a Super Potion here, too, just to give him a little bit more health. I just realized, by the way, that we're back in the cave. We, we whiffed on both of the 33% chances for good zones, which is tragic, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, will I switch here? It does resist me quite a bit, and like a, a power whip does just kill my ass. Slazzle, come on in, bud. Come on in here. It okay, will go for a fiery dance, I think. No need to set up here, really. No special attack boost, tragically, but it is what it is. Um, honestly, just keep taking potions to top off Pikachu. Ooh, rival fight, rival fight, hello. Forgot it was level 95. Terra Blaziken, I bet you switch honestly here, Blaziken. I don't think you want this. Blaziken wants the heat here. Wow, okay, die, idiot. Okay, cool. Glad we got that. Very lucky we picked up Sludge Wave. Right? Helps out a lot for that for that moment there. Oh, Haxers, you don't want this heat either, buddy. You do not want the Salazzle sweep. Okay. Uh, let's just go for Sludge Wave, honestly. I think I think we're ready to sweep. We don't have to go for Fiery Dance. We'll take the, the higher base power move here. Unpheasant, again, same logic here. Just eat shit and die. And here we'll go for the, the super effective stab. Okay. The easiest rival fight of pretty much all time. Very cool. Uh, HP up is pretty tempting here. We don't have many super bulky Pokemon. It's fine in Golurk. I think I will take it over the Nugget, though. Crobat could kill my ass here. But we have speed, so that's fun. Spell tag, definitely slapping that on Golurk too. Very cool to see that here. 
Uh, I think I'm going to switch Pikachu out. I'm a little bit afraid of what might happen to him here. You know, I think we just... Uh, uh, yeah, we just go for a Fire Dance on Ursa Luna. And we just go for a Drain Punch on Exploud here. Could go for the Sludge Wave and, and KO them both in theory, but Golurk takes a decent bit of damage from that too. Doesn't seem really worth it to me personally. Okay, Lumberries. Pretty useful to stack up on Golurk. Here, we'll just go for a Fiery Dance. We should maybe put an Aether on on uh, Salazzle here. We're running out of Fiery Dances. Just to be safe so I don't forget, basically. Because I am a little bit of a forgetful bitch sometimes. Golurk, or not Golurk. Gigalith is scary here because of the special uh, defense increase from... Uh, from what's it called? Uh, fuck. Uh, Sandstream. Go for one more nasty plot, and then we'll try to... Oh, Power Gem hurts. Hopefully Dragon Pulse KOs here. It might not, though. Okay, it KOs. That's fine. We take sand damage, we live, we full heal. And I think we have a boss battle here, because we just had a gym battle last time. Another Golosipod, huh? I interesting. Goodbye. Okay, and that's... You know what? Man, just like that, end of the episode. That we'll, We're going to be playing faster because we don't have to do the intro and stuff like we did last time. But man, we're already we're already 100 fights in. At, at this pace, the video is only 40 minutes long. At this pace, we're going to be doing runs in like two-ish, two and a half hours maybe. Right? Well, what's the math on there? 4, 8, 12, 16. Yeah, like a little over an hour and a half long. Or two and a half hours long, sorry. Okay. Uh... You know, before you go, we'll see what zone we go to. Uh, the lake. There we go. Very cool. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. We'll keep doing this cycle over. Ooh, a Greninja. Maybe we'll catch this Greninja. What's my team looking like right now? What are we looking like here? I would definitely prefer Greninja over Golosopod. You know, hold on. You know, before we end the video, let's catch this guy. Who do we bring in here? Probably Babero to catch. Now, it, keep in mind, Greninja, what makes Greninja so strong competitively is the Protean ability. Uh, and Battle Bond, also a useful ability. I don't think our Greninja is going to have either of those. Um, but we'll see. Maybe it does. I don't know. I think it has to like get a KO in order to actually get the Battle Bond switch in this, but I'm not sure either about that. Okay. Well, it's not Protean because it didn't change type there. And, uh, let's see. Damn, there we go. Uh, it, oh, it was Battle Bond, too. That's so, oh, and it's Tibid Nature. This is actually so fucking sick. What a good Pokemon to add to our team. This is crazy. But, you know, hey, good way to end the video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. We're going to get rid of Golosopod here for sure. And take this instead. And I will see you for the next one. Uh, goodbye. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna, I, you're, I'm gonna take the PP up here, actually, too. All right, well, 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 actually, god damn it. Hold on. Stealth Rocks, uh, only Golurk can learn it. If Vespa can learn it, I'd be much more interested in a more defense-oriented Pokemon. would be cool to have it. Golurk's more of a sweeper. Don't really have move on, room on the moveset for a Stealth Rocks. We'll just take this. Although, at this, at this point, actually, we should be putting this on the Hydro Pump, probably. Anyway, okay. Now the video is actually for real, for real ending. Thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye.